Six and a half million people. That's the number of Americans who believe that the Earth is flat. And as amazingly high as that number seems to be, what's mind blowing is it's been growing in recent years. So what should be a scientific certainty is being undermined by uh, the scientific denial culture that we have. There is a lot of uh, other denialist movements that are focused on GMOs and vaccinations, evolution and climate change. And in these cases, the, uh, the motivations are pr pretty clear. They, they tend to be ideological, um, either political or religious. Um, this ideology uh, sort of undermines um, what is normally known as, as true skepticism. True skepticism is okay, but when we're driven by ideology, it really creates the dangerous situations uh, for, for the environment, for, uh, for the culture, for civilization. Particularly in the climate denial community, they'll consider themselves skeptics, but they're really ideologically driven. They're not skeptics in the sense that way scientists are skeptics, where they'll look at the data, consider all the data, and actually be open to changing their mind. They've actually made up their mind already, and then um, to sort of justify their denialism called skepticism. They're not true skeptics in the sense that scientists are trained to be that way. They're, they're closed-minded uh, denialists, but they're, they're referring to their denial as skepticism. Uh, nature doesn't care about ideology, right? We, and we shouldn't let that ideology interfere with uh, our, our culture or societal advancement. And because of scientists uh, and, and the, sci the acceptance that we've had over the years for science, we've put men on the moon, we've, uh, we've solved various environmental crises, we've developed a, a web of uh, global interconnectedness, uh, and we've actually set our sights on Mars. I mean, scientists are citizens too. They have opinions, uh, and those opinions should be valued, especially when it's in the domain of their expertise. Because usually what happens is, oh, you're a scientist. No, you, you shouldn't be involved in policy. You shouldn't even be thinking about those things. But of course, we are concerned about um, the policy that actually is driving our country. It should be leveraging the experts. I mean, I'm a big fan of uh, deferring to experts. So when I, was in, when I was in industry, you know, I would go to my, uh, I would go to my engineers and say, okay, well, you're the expert, figure it out, and then report back to me. I mean, because that's, that's I think, where we, where we really should be going. We should take advantage of the expertise that we actually have available to us. Advisors are invaluable. Oh, oh, oh.